Welcome to Global Kitchen. My name is Mbole. This is my very first cookery video and for that reason I want to prepare my cultural dish. I am taking you to Kupe Maninguba Division in the southwest region of Cameroon to meet the Bakosi people with one of their favorite dishes called Esuba and Kwankala. So for the items i'm going to be using what we call taro in english in bakosi we call it malimbe and this is my water fufu because i'm in china i don't have cocoa yam so i'm going to uh subsidize this water fufu for cocoa yams and then for the Kwankala, I have here the taro leaves. We call it in Bakosi alim. One of it is alim, and many of these we call them malim. I have my red chili. I'll use a little bit of it. I have beef, oxtail, uh, stockfish, and uh, the spice I have here. We call it njangsa. I don't know how they call it in English. If it has a scientific name, but we call it njangsa. And finally, I have here my mortar that I will use to mash or to pound the esuba. Okay, so right now I'm going to start preparing the items for my kwankalan. So I'll have to wash the meat. I boil it when the meat is like half boiled and then I'll put in my stockfish because it's, uh, stockfish doesn't take longer. This is stockfish from China not like the one back home it doesn't take long to cook and then my oxtail is already cooked so I don't need to cook it again so while my meat and stockfish are cooking I have to start preparing my esoba that is the fufu the first thing I have to do is to peel the taro so as you see I'm already cutting my taro i cut them into two large pieces cut this one too into another piece i'll have to remove the skin and then place them in a pot it would have been very easy that is a small knife that we use the kind of knife we use back home to peel our taro and cocoa yams. My taro is already washed, ready to be cooked. And I have to place the taro leaves on the taro and allow them to cook for about five minutes or seven minutes before I start adding in my fufu. Cool. So as you can see, my taro is already foaming and in order not to make my uh, cookery place, my fireplace not so nasty, I have to drop a little bit of red oil this way, this way you see the foams are going down, the foams are going down, yeah. So whenever you are cooking hesuba and you find it very foamy like this, that is what you have to do. I assume my meat is okay now. Ready. All right. So our kwan kwan stock is good to go. So my fufu is a little tough, a little strong. What I do is add a little water to make it not very hard. And then the molding process begins. So this is my leaf because I don't want it to stick on my taro. I have to place the leaf in the pot. Place my water for food. My water fufu goes there and then I cover the pot. So this is the first cookery of the water fufu. I 
allow it to cook for about three minutes and then I put it in the mortar and pound or mash. Okay, our fufu is ready right now. I have to pound it for the first time and let me try to remove it. Let me take it out and put it in the mortar. So I have to pound it and make sure it has a uniform mixture before putting it back in the pot. My fufu is well mixed, so I have to rub it and put it back in the taro pot to cook for about four to five minutes. I don't need the leaf anymore because it won't stick. So right now I cover and this is the last time I am cooking it by the time it is ready. The taro too will be ready for a mixture. Voila! So, let me check our pot. Yeah, the second round of the fufu is ready. So, I have to put it back in the mortar and pound it. On the taro. You have to remove it carefully. So, it's not too take it out with some of the taro and as you can see the taro is also ready so after mixing the fufu the second time then I start mixing it with the taro let me pound it again as with the Bakosi people our mortars are short and round this particular mortar I'm using is the only one available in China and it is used by the people of the Northwest region of Cameroon and I think Center and uh, Western regions. So this is their type of mortar. So my fufu is well mixed. My taro is ready too. As you can see, very soft. So I have to remove the taro leaves and set them aside. I have to carefully remove them. So let me remove it and set it aside. Voila. Oh, I have some paper in there. No problem. So I'll take the whole pot and mix it. Mm, I like the flavor of the taro. Wow. 
sora e kuni bauta. So the next step will be to mold my fufu. We the people of Kupe Mamingba in the villages, we don't use our hands to mold fufu. We have a special wooden spoon that we use to mold our fufu. Unfortunately, I couldn't find that one in the market, so I'm going to manage this one. So you take a bowl and you have to According to the number of people at home, if I have, let me say, like, three people at home, it means I'll mold in three dishes. Mbiri suwa. In a course, I will say, ma mbiri mbiri suwa o. So we've come to the final stage of our cookery, which is the preparation of the soup, the kwankalan. And in here I have my already cooked taro leaves. You have pepper. And I told you from the beginning of this video that I'll be going to be using, that I will be using one spice, which is njangsa. And you can see the njangsa in there. Back in the villages, we will want to blend, well, sorry, we want to use a mortar to do this. But because I'm not in the village and my mortar is not very convenient, I will have to blend. Not using all of the pepper because it will be very hot. So I have to blend it and mix with the stock. So I've already blended my uh, taro leaves and right now, as you can see, it's already in the pot with the meat. I use the stock and I'll have to stir it before lighting the fire. It's very thick. I think I need to add a little bit of water. It's not easy to have taro leaves in China, so I'm not leaving anything in the blender. on the fire to cook maybe for about two to three minutes and our conqualan is ready mm -hmm. 
voila! Our kampalang is ready and ready to be served with the estuba fufu. This is a moment of truth. Esuba and Kwankalan is ready. Feel free to join us to eat this meal. Wow. Mmm. 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 to like and subscribe to my channel thank you mm. Mm -hmm.